Recently, we sat down in the map room of the White House, and after going over the day's headlines, I asked the president about life both inside and beyond the Oval Office. What do you most wish you knew before you came to the White House? You know, I, I'm not sure that um, you can ever anticipate what the pace of this is like. Uh, I, I think that by the time I actually was sworn in, we had a pretty clear sense of the magnitude uh, of the financial crisis. And I have to tell you, uh, there, there, we've made mistakes and we'll make some more. I mean, we've made some mistakes early on around appointments and uh, you know, there were some other issues there uh, in terms of how we rolled out the bank stress test, et cetera. Overall, though, uh, I think you look at our track record over the last five months, uh, under some fairly extraordinary circumstances, uh, we have, I think, been extraordinarily productive. Uh, but we're not satisfied. We've got a lot of work to do. And uh, When you're president of the United States, you must be prepared for any question. Uh, people in the mainstream media have uh, been accused of being afraid to speak truth to power. And I've got, I've got some truth to power for okay, you right now. Ahead. I've been observing. Yeah. Your dog looks like he's out of control. <laughs> but bold. Bo is a, you know, he's a, he's a teenager. Uh, he's a puppy still. Uh, and uh, he, he, every once in a while, does get a little frisky. But I would not want just a calm, passive dog. I want a, a dog with a little bit of spirit. And he definitely has some spirit. He's a smart dog, though. And, uh, and he has a good temperament. Uh, you know, he is, he is very friendly and fun-loving. But, but when he gets out in the South Lawn sometimes, uh, when he breaks loose, it's... It's tough to catch up with him. As the president was being rushed to his next appointment, I had a chance to ask him about golf. He's gone golfing seven times since he took office. Presidents from Dwight Eisenhower to Bill Clinton have often sought refuge on the links, and perhaps now we know why. Golf. What does it do for you? First of all, I'm terrible. I'm horrible. Um, Worst thing I ever started. Best thing I've ever done. It is the uh, only time that for six hours, first of all, that I'm outside. Mm -hmm. And second of all, where you almost feel normal in the sense that you're not in the bubble. There are a whole bunch of Secret Service guys, but they're mm -hmm. sort of in the woods. Mm -hmm. And when you're up there in the tee box, mm -hmm. and you, you're hacking away and hitting some terrible shot, and your friends are laughing at you, mm -hmm. you know, it, it feels as if, you know, you're, you're out of the container. Yeah.